Hi, my name is Ilyas Hoca. I'm front-end developer. In this course, I explain how to work with the NGRX in Angular native script. We will build a mobile crypto application like Binance and use NGRX. For this mobile app, I use it CoinGecko API. So you can see here or see here a list of the coins and the position of each coins in the market. Let's get started to learn how to create application with NGRX. Let's take a look at the Cook sample application. Let's imagine we are building a simple app. Uh, then let's you search for coins by name of a coin. When you search the app, research out to an API and loads in a bunch of uh, results asynchronously. Then you can uh, start your favorite coins in the search result. So far to build this an Angular app, uh, what a component would you need to build to create these things? Well, for search to work, uh, we are going to first need to list of uh, these coins. So for every coin we get uh, back from our API, where we are going to create a coin list item components that render that individual coin from there we're going to need need a component that actually shows every single coin in this list based on the result we get back from that api probably using something like an ng4 we're going to have a search box that actually lets the user type in uh, the name of a coin or some other search term uh, and then finally we are going to have uh, this oral page component that's going to tie all this together it's going to handle the interactivity from that search input loads up those results pass into the coin list component which will then show each of the those coins list item so hierarchy of this simple angular app ends up looking a little bit like this So hierarchy of this simple angular app ends up looking a little bit like this. You have uh, this search coins page which has all this data and it's going to pass it down using inputs to coins list component. That coins list components can use ng4 on that list to show a coins list item for every single coin in that collection when the user hits a favorite on one of those coins list items it's going to emit an output letting the parent component know th that hey someone hit the favorite button and uh, that coin list component will then redirect that back all the way up to the top to the th search coins page uh, which will reach out to the, to the API and actually mark that coins as a favorite similarly uh, when uh, the user research uh, user research for a coin in that uh, search coins uh, box it will uh, emit uh, an event up so Event up to that uh, search coins page component, letting it know that he needs to to go refetch 
those results. So let's take a look at some code to see how this is working at the top of this component hierarchy and I want to introduce a few terms that we are going to use throughout this training so the first I want to introduce in this term called state so as uh, the user searches for coins this l list of uh, coins is updating dynamically and uh, being passed through the components and the state refers to the data that changes dynamically as uh, application runs so here the state of the component is this list of uh, coins it is updating dynamically as the user search for the coins the next term I want to introduce is uh, something called side effects and the side effects are essentially when your com application needs to communicate with the uh, outside world needs to do something or talk to some theories or some API and here our component has a handle a side effect when uh, the user search for the coins we need to reach out to our coins API and load in uh, the new uh, set of uh, coins based on those results we're going to use uh, uh, the phrase side effect uh, to refer to the action of a calling out to our services and when this side effect completes we get uh, back the new updated uh, set of uh, coins uh, which means we need to update the state of this component we need to replace the old list of uh, coins with a new list of coins gotten back from our API in this process of changing state we are going to refer to as a state change so the search coins page component even though this is a simple angular app it's actually doing a lot of different things it's connecting state to components uh, it has dynamic list of coins that is uh, passing down to its children when the user interacts with these components it's triggering side effects it's reaching out to our services and uh, making API calls and uh, those API calls complete it's going to change the state so that all the components are updated with the uh, newest uh, set of uh, information and uh, from a communication perspective we can uh, see that uh, what is happening is our search coin page is communicating and uh, getting data from uh, the outside world and uh, passing all of that data down through all these components and uh, when uh, the user interacts with these components these changes are bubbling up causing the search coins page component to communicate back to the outside world and that's one of the first thing i want to reinforce as a part of ngrx mental model when you are building ngrx app state flows down your angular application and as the user interacts with your component chains are going to flow back up just like how those components doing but in an ngrx app we don't want to have a component that are doing a lot of different things uh, this is this first coin page component as I mentioned it is connecting state component handling side effect 
and uh, updating state when those change uh, single responsibility principle in indirect application however we want to adhere to th something called a single responsibility principle and this single responsibility principle states uh, that for any given responsibility you should have a single well-defined model of code that handles that responsibility so this search coins page component if uh, we are to ng ngxfi it can't do all these different things instead in ngx app we are going to write our component in such a way that they only do one thing and uh, do one thing well and this search coins page components single responsibility in NGRX app is going to be connected to data to component we are going to change it so it is not handling state changes or calling our API services so the way it's going to connect data component is using some something uh, that's a lot like inputs and outputs only they are going to be in NGRX version of inputs and outputs. So, real, qu real quick, let's look at uh, that coin list item component. This is one of the children components in our application hierarchy. This both list. Uh, item component receive a coin through an input and when the user hits favorite it emit an output using a favorite output so kind of uh, just a question for you does these components know who is binding to its input like uh, does this coin list item component actually know who is giving it a uh, coin uh, not no not really his components authorize it in a way uh, where it doesn't care where the coin came from similar similarly does this component know who is listening to favorite to this favorite output and again the answer is no it doesn't really care it's just saying hey someone hit favorite and it doesn't have to know which parent component is actually listening for this output and uh, there is a term there is a term for this engineering engineering call it in a direction in angular app inputs and outputs offer in uh, direction between consumer and the parent so when you are writing angular components using inputs and outputs you are writing them such a way uh, where I don't have to really think or care about who passing in data into those inputs or who listening to those outputs and in an ngrx app we are going to do something very similarly we are going uh, to introduce direction throughout our, our angular application we are uh, going to try and create interaction between the consumer and of a state how state change sent how side effect are trigger it NGRX store provides state management for creating maintainable explicit application through the use of the single state and the actions in order to express the state changes in the cases where you don't need a global application-wide solution to manage state consider using NGRX 
comp component store uh, store which provides a solution for local state management action what is the action actions are one of the main building blocks in NGRX actions express unique events uh, that happens throughout your application from uh, user interaction with the page external interaction through network requests and a direct interaction with the device APIs uh, these are, and more events are described with action actions are used in many areas of NGRX actions are the inputs and outputs of many system in NGRX uh, and actions help you to understand how events are handled in your application this guide provides uh, general rules and examples for writing uh, actions in your application reducers what is a reducers Reducers in NGRX are responsible for handling transition from one state to the next state in your application. Reducers are a pre function in that they produce the same output for given input. They are without side effect and handle each state transition. Synchronously, each reducer function takes the last action, dispatches the current state, and uh, determines whether to return a newly modified state uh, or the original state. This guide shows how to write the reducer function. So, what about the selector? Selector are uh, per function. Use it for obtaining uh, slices of a uh, store state. NG store provides a few helper function for optimizing these selections. Selectors provides many features uh, when uh, selecting slice of the state. Portability, memo memoization, composition, testability type safety when uh, using uh, the create selector and the create feature selector functions uh, NGRX store keeps uh, track of the last uh, argument uh, in which your selector function was invoked because selector are per function as the last result can be returned when the argument match without invoking your selector function. These can provide performance benefits, particularly uh, with the selectors that perform expensive uh, computation. Uh, and next one is uh, effects effects are an rxjs powered side effect uh, model for store effects use streams to provide a new sur sources of action to reduce state based on external interactions such as a network request web sockets message and the time based event introduction in uh, the service based angular application components are responsible for interacting with external resources directly through services instead effects provides a way to interact with those services and isolate them uh, from the components Effects are where you handle tasks such as uh, fetching data, long running tasks that uh, produce multiple events, and other external interaction with your components don't need explicit knowledge of these interaction. Effects isolate 
side effect from a component allowing for more pure components set uh, select uh, select state and dispatch action effects are long running services that uh, listen to observable for every action dispatched from the store effects filter those action based on the type of action they are interested in uh, this is uh, done by using an operator effects performs task tasks which are synchronously or asynchronously and return a new action in the second section uh, if you want to learn about how to work with uh, angular and native script you can uh, find here all the documentation or examples here in the native script org uh, you can simply choose an angular icon and you have a page getting started with uh, native script and angular so here is a example of applications uh, how to create application with the uh, CLI and how to run application in Android uh, also with iOS and the folder structures and the simple home page application and documentation so um, can start with this um, documentation to create an uh, application with a native script. So, now uh, in this section, we will discuss about uh, our application and the currency in GRX. You can find here, I will uh, add the link to this course. So, uh, you can find github and open and run this application so let's get started so here we have a currency nginx application uh, for this application I use it uh, native script angular and I want to show you uh, with, uh, how to work with uh, Angular and Native Script. Uh, for first thing, uh, we will discuss about core model. Here we have a core model uh, with a mobile provider and. It's uh, all, all code uh, as a standard as in uh, native script. Uh, also, we have a currency. I have a currency action. Uh, we have a search, load currency, currency fail, and the currency success. So, uh, for uh, search action, uh, we will use this constant uh, with a search term, uh, type of a string uh, for create for create uh, action. We will use a create action method from uh, NGX store here and. Uh, also, we have a model. Let's dive to in model currency. Here is a model with ID, symbol, name, image. Uh, is a API for this model. I use it from a model API from CoinGecko.com. You can uh, search from uh, Google and uh, find uh, this API. It's free. Also, we have a search response model. 
with the ID name, uh, symbol, and capital rank, uh, and the other variable. So in this index, we import currency actions here and export this class okay in the coin detail component we have a uh, action bar to is a detail and flexbox layout for item ID and item name also we have a uh, item with currency uh, root activation and other stuff in uh, the main coin list, coin list component uh, we have uh, one input with items this type of currency and the search response model array and the two outputs uh, for one item tab and second load more items event emitter uh, so with this uh, we're gonna use uh, grid layout with these items and inside the grid layout uh, we're gonna use an image with a item image and label name of uh, the coin and uh, in the last label we're going to show uh, item market capitalization I mean a uh, coin capital capitalization in the market and uh, f this component we <coughs> use inside uh, coins component HTML uh, with uh, <coughs> search bar we have uh, activation indicator and search bar coin list all this stuff inside the grid layout and we have also loaded uh, event with the search bar loaded function let's run our application with this uh, comment in CLI so here we have the application already run it uh, on the simulator okay we have a bunch of uh, coins with uh, market capitalization in the right side okay let's try to search some coin uh, Okay, we have uh, Shiba Inu coins here and the other coins with the name Shiba. So let's dive into this application and we will see. Uh, other components inside um, this application in the next videos so inside and uh, the coins component is yes, we have a uh, observable the name of the currency uh, type of the currency model in the search response model uh, let's open search response model here uh, as we know already we have a um, 
ID name, symbol, market capitalization number, and other. So it's back to in coins component. Have a wearable BZ. Uh, is active visibility page number search term uh, inside the constructor we have a um, store select get all coins uh, for currency uh, let's open get all coins selector okay in the state TS file we have a get all coins uh, selector with a coin state and uh, from currency all uh, coin okay we have uh, inside the uh, uh, currency reducer we have um, all coin state that we will uh, open it uh, soon okay let's back to here we have a uh, search lo search uh, on search loud bar loaded event function and uh, also on search bar loaded uh, function which uh, inside we dispatch uh, action uh, coins loaded and, uh, for search for search coin uh, we will use a search coin uh, function uh, we get a, a string wearable to search uh, all these <coughs> uh, coins so f first we will clear then uh, give a, a string a value to search term uh, wearable then here uh, in the uh, text search where uh, the bounce function we will uh, uh, try to this uh, dispatch search action with this value uh, but uh, we will wait uh, 300 millisecond here is the bounce function the bounce fun function uh, on the tanks attack on text change uh, function we will change we will wait uh, change variable with the text search the bounce and uh, here is we can uh, see here and all search bar clear event function and the text change uh, function we will actively use inside the search bar tag so okay here we have a index ts for all the component inside the component uh, folder for coins for a list component for coin detail component we will um, import here and uh, uh, create a, a constant and also export this constant coin components uh, all uh, together as an array and export it, uh, all components uh, separately and here uh, in the app model as we can see for inside the um, app model to yes, we need to import a store model and effects model from uh, Angerix store and uh, Angerix effects uh, <coughs> for using uh, Angerix inside this application so we have a uh, uh, currency model here uh, with a currency routing model and the effects uh, model 
for effects we're gonna use uh, nginx effects uh, we, we will import effects model from uh, uh, nginx effects and <coughs> all uh, components uh, we have uh, inside the coin uh, component list and the coins and the coin detail we will import here and uh, uh, we should put here in the declaration uh, to use the, uh, these components inside uh, this application so um, in a uh, account zero thing TS we have uh, only one pass that uh, inside this application in the currency uh, model we will open coin coins component so in the uh, app routing app routing model yes we have a, a pen something like this current list with the full and the current list uh, or children the current mo currency model so that's it we have uh, all kind of the component and with uh, s uh, we have also services okay we have a uh, currency service here uh, we will use this API from coingecko.com uh, and first function for getting all uh, list of uh, coins uh, in the market so uh, we will use this uh, service to communicate uh, with the API and getting data and we have a s currency model and a search response model here and um, from this uh, pass we will get uh, all uh, coins list uh, from the API and we have a uh, params for this API request we see currency and USD uh, we will send as uh, HTTP params and then the second function uh, we will use uh, string variable query uh, with this uh, search function from uh, this API and we will return uh, only coins uh, from this object uh, I want to show um, price to for these uh, coins, but in the coin geeko I want to use uh, API with a uh, coin price, but um, unfortunately uh, in the coin geeko dot com uh, nowadays we don't have a uh, this kind of API for searching coins and getting all coins with the price. Yeah, you ha you cannot get uh, all coins with the price, but for a search function for search uh, API, uh, I can't find any um, API for uh, giving a data with the price so um, i decided to show with a uh, market capitalization as we have uh, inside uh, uh, this search function so um, let's let's open Reducer. We have a 
reducer we have a state interface uh, with loading boolean variable and data with a currency and the search model uh, array uh, and uh, we will uh, we will create constant with initial state and using a state uh, interface uh, and we have the same uh, Variable, variable uh, inside this initial state uh, with a loading variable with a, a value false and data with a empty array. So for creating reducer, we will use create reducer uh, function uh, from uh, ng ngrx store and inside the reducer uh, first we will give a inch, initial, initial state and uh, after this in the second uh, parameter we have a, a function on also we will import from uh, ngrx store uh, and uh, we will give uh, actions uh, what we have already have uh, also we will uh, import from uh, actions here we have a s action that current l load currency success and uh, search load currency load currency fail and load currency success uh, inside the reducer, we will call. Uh, we will use this uh, coin, coin lo uh, loaded, coins loaded, and uh, uh, with a state and action, we will return a state with a spread of operator. And uh, inside this uh, reducer, uh, we will we can add the search action and the load currency success action the in the search action we will give a, we will put here state and with a search term search uh, term action uh, inside the load currency success we will give a state and the data with action coins so and after this uh, we can uh, export uh, constant all coins search currency and get currency loading constant so in the next thing is a currency we will create uh, currency class uh, with a currency effects name and we have uh, here in a private in the constructor private variable action uh, with a uh, ngrx effects imported uh, actions uh, value and the currency services uh, and the currency service we will import from uh, our service um, here for getting all uh, coins and searching the coins so in effect uh, we will create uh, three kind uh, two kind of effects first uh, load currency effect we will use a uh, create effect function um, with a uh, also we, uh, we will import from uh, ngrx effects and uh, inside this function uh, we will use uh, these uh, actions and with a pipe uh, electric operator Uh, we will use inside in the pipe uh, of type operator uh, in a 
off type of the operator uh, we we call uh, mm, coins actions with a uh, load currency action uh, in a merge map uh, function we will call uh, our services get currency data and after when we uh, get uh, variable we can uh, we, uh, we can use a pipe a map uh, oper rxjs operator and inside the map function uh, we will uh, call action coin section with a load currency success and uh, we will give uh, data to uh, our coin in uh, coin variable inside this uh, function in the search uh, coins uh, we will create uh, with a create effects function also we use uh, these uh, actions with a pipe of type uh, and inside of type we'll uh, we use a um, search action after this uh, we will uh, use rxjs uh, operator switch map uh, with a f uh, seri service function uh, search coins and we will uh, give a uh, variable um, of uh, what we have uh, inside the search box bo uh, search box input uh, string and when we get uh, response uh, we will use a map operator and a uh, call action uh, coin section uh, for load cur uh, for load currency success uh, actions and also we will give uh, way value to the our coins so after this we can use uh, these effects inside uh, our application uh, from dispatching a uh, search actions uh, inside the uh, 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 search function and uh, so uh, inside the state uh, ts file uh, we have a uh, interface state and a reducer uh, so action uh, reduce from map state from a currency and uh, we have a um, store model inside uh, ng model and uh, shared state coins model um, we have a uh, three kind of uh, selectors for selector coin state and the uh, second is a get all coins selector and the search currency selector uh, we we will use a get coins uh, selector to uh, call uh, to get all uh, coins uh, w with a selector and he, inside the inside the coin coins component TS yes. uh, we will go with the store select get co all coins so that's it it's a simple uh, application with uh, showing uh, coins and using NGRX inside uh, Angular and in the subscript application. So you can uh, find uh, all code from my GitHub. I will uh, 
add a link to the GitHub page, and you will can, you can check and run this application. So, in this um, course, I want I try to explain all uh, NGX system state management and effects how to work with a reducer and effects with services and you can find a link inside this course uh, from uh, you can find the project from a github and you can find uh, from uh, API for from a coin geeko website in the API section or if you needed uh, more documents about native native script and angular you can find from uh, native script dot org uh, that's it uh, I I hope you enjoy from this course uh, and thank you